that uh, now has emerged after a lean period has been Bharat Forge, especially after the North American truck orders started improving. Mr. Baba Kalyani, Chairman Managing Editor of Bharat Forge, joins us now. Uh, good morning, Mr. Kalyani. Always a pleasure having you with us. Uh, uh, well, if you can start by telling us uh, what is the status of the North American truck market, uh, are you definitely uh, sure that it has troughed out and you're seeing more strength? Well, uh, first of all, uh, good morning and good talking to you on the first working day of the new fiscal year. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, the, you know, the, the North American heavy truck market has bottomed out. Uh, it is beginning to show signs of uh, uh, some robustness. And I think I would say that uh, from our side where we are sitting, uh, we are seeing almost all markets, whether it's Western Europe, North America, even to some extent uh, Latin America, all uh, in a much better position than what they were last year. Okay. Mr. Kalyani, good morning. Uh, on an average for the last three months, we've seen these truck orders uh, come in at around 22,000 units or so. Do you think things can get better from here or is this a level that uh, uh, could be sustained over the next few months? You know, I believe, this is Sonia? Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> you know, Sonia, last year, uh, the heavy truck market was somewhere in the region of 205, 210,000. We haven't got the full numbers yet. And uh, this year's projection was that it would be around the same. Uh, the expectation now is it might be at least 10, 15 percent uh, uh, better than that. So I think uh, things are looking up. Uh, things are looking up in every uh, geography and every sector of the economy. So that's good news. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kalyani, good morning. You know, the, uh, last year in November, you had made an acquisition as well in U.S., uh, uh, Walker Forge, and we had spoken about uh, it after that. That was this uh, sense of market bottoming out. Uh, any, any more acquisitions uh, that are in the work right now? No. We are, <clears throat> I mean, we are always on the lookout for... <clears throat> something that works for us, you know, our acquisition strategies are very different than other companies. But uh, we uh, were wanting to get a footprint in North America for a long period of time. We had one many years ago which uh, uh, had to be uh, sold out because, uh, you know, it was in a location where we were not being very competitive. But this one uh, is good uh, and we plan to expand this footprint uh, uh, organically, uh, not necessarily through acquisitions, but we will also look at opportunities as and when they exist. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kalyani, uh, can you give us a little more color about the domestic uh, uh, auto market, uh, auto ancillary market? The medium heavy chemical, uh, heavy uh, commercial vehicle uh, segment uh, was showing a, a bit of uh, um, uh, subdued performance. Uh, is that turned around or looking like turning around? And what about the non-commercial vehicle demand? Uh, you know, as I had said in my uh, third quarter update, uh, we mm -hmm. had expected the fourth quarter truck market in India to be pretty strong, largely on uh, pre-buy because of uh, Euro 4 implementation. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that exactly is what happened. There was a strong pre-buy. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, because uh, of the Supreme Court order on uh, uh, no Euro 3 vehicles can be sold mm -hmm. on April 1st, uh, we expect to see even quarter one uh, to be much better than the original plan. Okay. okay. That's good to hear. You know, I also wanted to ask you uh, about the uh, the shale gas drilling equipment business because we've seen a significant amount of pickup there and uh, you have a big presence there or rather a growing presence in that segment. Uh, what kind of growth do you see uh, over the next, say, three to six months? I mean, your oil and gas revenues itself went up four times quarter on quarter in the quarter gone by. Uh, are you looking at uh, more growth from this segment? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, in the medium term, yes, we are looking at a much higher growth from this segment. Uh, short term, what you saw was, uh, you know, it went up from almost nothing to wherever it was. So that's why it looked like four times. Uh, the base level was very low. But we are now focusing to a very large extent on the domestic uh, requirements of oil and gas equipment. What we have seen is that you know, we supply to the U.S. market and the U.S. customers then supplied the same product back into the Indian market. And, 
know, the Make in India activity, uh, it might be a lot better if we <laughs> supplied it directly. Okay. Uh, so that Are would you... mean better margins and more volumes for you as well, right? I mean, if you don't have to route it through the U.S. markets and back to India. Yeah, it, goes, it actually physically goes to the U.S. and then comes back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but do you see that changing? Yes, I think it will change. I think, you know, we have to get this Make in India activity bite into our economy a little harder than what it is biting right now. Okay. Well, uh, sir, the other segments, railways and aerospace, uh, uh, aerospace in particular, have you seen uh, anything come by, any timeline when we can see it hit the p, p and L? You know, uh, we are exactly on, on track as far as our aerospace business is concerned. We have said that by 2020, we will be a, we will have that as a hundred million dollar vertical, and I think we are pretty much on track. Okay. For customers, uh, with all these four is increasing. Now we have uh, the domestic aerospace market, which has also started creating traction. So uh, we are quite confident that uh, we will be on track. And you have to understand, in the aerospace, uh, the hundred million dollar is the critical mass that we have to achieve. In hard manufacturing. Mm. Okay. After that, then I think it's going to be exponential growth. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kalani, a final question on uh, the state of the economy itself. Uh, you service a large number of segments, uh, even if automobiles uh, dominate. Uh, what is the sense you're getting? Is there a capex uptick? Uh, are we turning around as an economy? I think the Indian economy is doing, uh, in my opinion, extremely well. Uh, you know, one can always argue that it needs to do better, but I think it's doing extremely well. Uh, you look at the auto sector numbers, they are doing well. Uh, in spite of a very major decision of demonetization where we had all kinds of debates, I think uh, that decision was uh, very wisely taken, very uh, reasonably well implemented, and that's behind us. Most important is that behind us. And we are now seeing a lot of investment in the core sector. You talked about railways. Uh, we are seeing a lot of opportunities in railways. The defense opportunity is something that uh, is, uh, I would say, in the pipeline. We haven't seen anything on the ground yet, but uh, I think it's just a matter of time when you will start seeing it on the ground. Okay, Mr. Kalyani, we would have loved to chat some more, but we've run out of time. Thank you, as always, for your candid thoughts. Never to mince any words, Mr. Baba Kalyani, he tells us that things have been improving not only for the auto sector, but for the economy as a whole. In fact,